my April wrap up with March T May TBRs. <laughs> so in April, I read a total of um, eight books, <laughs> and I only read three out of the four books I plan on reading because because I just wasn't feeling the book. So, anyways, yeah, let's get on to my April wrap up. <laughs> so the first book I read this month was Scarlet by Maris Myers, and of course, yeah, you guys know what this story is about. It's about it's a retelling, it's a retelling of. <laughs> It's a retail of Red Riding Hood. <laughs> and yeah, and then like it's part of the Luna Chronicles. And I ended up really enjoying this book. Like I think I enjoyed it a little bit more than Cinder. Cause I I know a lot of people can't been like um really like Scarlet or Work, but I really like I really like Scarlet, I really like Work. I ended up giving this book a five out of five. <laughs> the next book I read was Cress by Marissa Mar Marissa Myers. <laughs> Cress is a re Cress is the Crest is the third book to the Lunar Chronicle. The Lunar Chronicles. <laughs> and it's a return of um, Rapunzel. <laughs> I enjoyed this book too. Uh, there are some parts for me, there are some parts that were really slow and I, I just wanted to, to try to pick it up. Pick up about them. And then, like, I really enjoyed this book. But I, I, but I gotta say, I, I, enjoyed, um, I enjoyed Cinder and Scarlet a little bit more than Crest. That's just how I feel, and I, yeah, I, I did end up giving this book a 5 out of 5 because I really enjoyed that too. The next book I read was so Solstice. Solstice by Simon Hall. I don't know how to pronounce And this was the second book to the Devour series, and I gotta say, going to this book, I, w I was just going to this book. It was really hard to get into this story because I could feel myself getting being pulled into reading stuff, and I did enjoy this book. I just ugh, couldn't get into the story. And like there was like a lot of stuff in my head, a lot of stuff going through my head as like, going through my head as, as when I was reading this book, and I just wasn't able to fully process it. And I wish I would have put this book down and read another one, but I did end up really enjoying this book, and I gave it a four out of five. So the next book I read was Better Off Friends by Elizabeth Aldbert. <laughs> this book is about boy and a girl who are best friends and people there's such good friends that sometimes people people mistake people wonder if they're dating. I went to this book knowing that hope, hoping it was it was gonna be a cute book, hoping it was gonna be an easy read, hoping I could get just be like a really fast read and a little carefree read and it was a little carefree read and I really enjoyed this book and I really I love um I love the girl. McCollin, I think that's her name. I love her and then Levy Levy is the boy's name and Levy kinda annoyed me and I just sometimes he's just he's cute. He's like he's cute and he's adorable and stuff but then got boys will be boys. This would make me laugh, this would make me cry, this would make me happy, this would make me angry, this would make me mad, make me sad, this book made me feel everything. <laughs> and I ended up giving this book a five out of five too. The next book I picked up after that was Thirteen Reason Why Thirteen Reasons Why and somehow the cover won't show up on my Kindle, so I'm just gonna put a picture here. Cause it was this book. I picked this book up because um, because of Lawrence and her in her um, in her five young adults recommendation for adults read tag. And I picked this book up because it was in her it was one it was one of the books that she recommended. So this book is about a girl who commits suicide, and then this boy comes home one day, and he. He discovered a package on her his doorstep by the girl, and in the package there's there are thirteen there are seven tapes with thirteen reasons why she committed suicide, and he's he's one of the reasons. So in order to find out why he's in the tape, why he's one of the reasons, he has to listen to the tape and figure out why. And then he has to listen to the tape and listen to her tell her story. I heard it was a sad book, but I gotta say I didn't not. Okay, I did like it. I just got really annoyed by um, play. I really did enjoy Hannah's story. I enjoyed her telling her story and her telling like the reason why and like the snowball effect that each reason had an effect on the next one. What I did enjoy was the format of it. It it sort of kind of had like this two narration format, whereas you you get Clay's form Clay's narration as he goes on this adventure. That she sends him, that she, she, that she sends him on, and then you get um you get Hannah's narration uh, through the tapes, and how do I explain this? I found Kate to be a little annoying 
<laughs> and I found myself skipping his narration throughout towards the end of the book because you'll be li you'll be listening to um, Hannah tell her story, and then Kay will insert certain comments during during those um, during those reads. Kay like makes comments throughout her story. I'm like, it's just it just got really annoying. I'm like, shut up. Because <laughs> to me, it felt like you know. How to explain? You were in a movie theater. You're watching this really good movie, but the guy next to you kept won't stop talking and won't stop making comments at every single scene. That's how I thought about Clay and how he he was doing he, what he was doing as I was reading, and then I found myself just skipping over his comments, skipping over his narration altogether, and just going on to it, going on to reading Hannah's story instead of reading what Clay was doing. <laughs> so yeah, but. I did kind of enjoy it. I just didn't like Clay's narration. I thought there was no point to it. What am I doing? I'm giving this a three out of five. The next book, guys, I had to pick up. I just needed something easy to read and something funny to read. So I heard this book is really funny. So I picked up <laughs> Hex Hall by Rich Hawken. And of course, you guys haven't heard, people on book two are talking about Rebel Bell, which was written by Rich Hawken. I was going to pick that book up, but I was just. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I just didn't pick it up. So I decided to just read this one because I I got I had this one for a while and I just haven't started yet. So yeah, I picked this one up and it's what is it about? It's about a girl who who's a witch and she gets sent to this um this report this witch, witch school for people for witches who had done like magic stuff. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I really enjoyed it and okay, one thing. One thing I have to remind myself as I'm reading, I'm reading this book, her name is not Rose. Her name is not Rose. Because, <laughs> um, what's her name? Oh, her name is Sophia and she kind of sort of reminds you of Rose in a way. And then I ended up giving this book a 4.5 because I really enjoyed it and it made me laugh. <laughs> this is a really good book and just reminds me of everything. my vampire academy. <laughs> and the next book I picked up was The Fat Lady Sings by Charlie, Charlie Lovett. Lovett. This book is about a girl who is fat <laughs> and um, she auditioned for this role that's perfect for her and she nailed up she nailed the audition but she doesn't get the role because one of the reasons why she doesn't get the she doesn't get the role because she doesn't have the right physique to play the, the leading lady the leading role the leading role <laughs> role and then so and her, so her and her friends decide to make their own play make their start to produce their own play and she will be the leading the leading role in the play. Mm, this book was okay. I kind of sort of, I kind of sort of like that. You know, the main girl, the main girl is not, not thin. <laughs> she was kind of annoying, kind of self selfish, and kind of um, self centered. She only cares about herself. And like, you know, there's this one part where like, her friend came out to her friends. Parents found out that he was gay, and then he was talking to her stepfather, and she all she could think about was like, yeah, he he came out with me stuff, but then what about me? What about me? Because um, the girl who the girl who stole my what was it? the girl who stole my role is asking me to help her with her, help her improve her acting. And all she could think was like, she wasn't worried about her friends. All she was worried about her feelings and what she's going through, and that's just that just kind of sort of annoyed me a little. I really like how she's very confident with her, confident with herself and she doesn't care what other people think, but that's about it. <laughs> I give this a three out of three out of five. I don't hate it, so I gave it a three out of five. <laughs> and the last book I read for um, April was That Angie by C J C C E E E E something something something. That Angie by E E Char Charlton Trujillo. <laughs> I'll just put put the picture here. This is about a girl who is fat. Hit the name Fat Angie. She just her life is just miserable. And her sister, her sister is captured in Iraq, and everyone thinks her sister is dead, but she still holds on to the hope that they will find her sister one day. After a failed attempt at committing suicide in front of everyone in the gym, she people starts like start making fun of her, start thinking she's weird, and she starts she just starts becoming an outcast. And, uh, and then she meets a new girl in school named Casey Romance. <laughs> and, then, and then, yeah, and then they start hanging out, and they just start 
becoming friends and stuff. And this is a really bad description of the movie. But <laughs> again, this book is okay. I really like. I just really felt bad for him. I felt bad for Angie because her mom calls her fat. No, her mom doesn't call her fat Angie. But does her? Does she? Anyways, her mom. Her mom. Oh, oh my God! I'm not like her mom. There are some. There are some stuff that her mom said to Angie that hit me hard, <laughs> you know what? And then like I just, I just did not come on how about her, how about like how her mom just hates her because she's fat and then her mom does not want to buy her new clothes and unless she lose unless she lose weight and that just, just I just felt like that was wrong. I think I do not like her mom. I do not like that girl from school. I'm just ugh, her mom. Oh my God, her mom. Ah, I know people like her mom. I'm like just interesting. <laughs> The mean girls in school, oh my god, how the, the way they, they the way they treat her, it sucks. It sucks. The, the bullying and stuff, it sucks. And then to find out she's, you know, attracted to girls, that's just, just that's just adding on to, you know, her complicated life. And then you get Casey who doesn't care what people think about her, doesn't give a crap about other opinions, and she's gonna hang out with Angie because she likes Angie. And at first, and at first, Angie was like, you know, why are you hanging out with me? You're like the, you're like those, you're like the, those popular girls. Why don't you go hang out with them? And Angie says that she likes her and stuff, and then a whole stuff happens. That's a really bad description. <laughs> mm, I really like Casey. I I was okay about Angie, I and mean, I love that she like she finds herself later on. And I really like that Casey, Casey doesn't care, give a crap about what other people think about her. But, but the, at the same time, you know, Casey is still vulnerable and she still has her own problems. And there's just a lot of, there's just a lot of drama in this book. I'm giving this book a 3 out of 5. It was an okay book. And anyway, that's it for the book I read in April. That's it for the, the books I read in April. <sighs> oh my god, this video. Anyways. For my May, for my May, May TBRs, uh, I don't have that many books done because a lot of stuff is gonna happen in May. I mean, you know, we have I have one more week of school left, and then we have finals week and then graduation, and then moving back home and stuff. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any reading done, any reading done the first half of May. Half of May. I do want to read like at least two books in May, so I did have two books planned. Well, yeah, <laughs> the first book I'm reading is is. Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood and okay I know this book was about witches but I did not know it was about um, witches back in the day and it was it was I, I was surprised because you know I was reading it like I, I imagine it to be like you know modern day and then the girls being witches and stuff which now thinking back uh, <laughs> and I don't know why I think of that when I was reading the description for this book. <laughs> so this book is about three sisters who are witches. That's all I know so far. <laughs> and then the next book I'm planning to read is Take a Bow by Elizabeth Albert. I don't have the book right now because it's supposed to come in today but I haven't, the mail hasn't come yet. So I'm just waiting for it to come but yeah, anyways. Yeah, and then I think this is about four friends who are trying to get into, you know, trying to get into um, a music school. That's all I know. <laughs> but it sounds really interesting. Yeah, that's it for that's it for my March wrap up. That's it for my April wrap up and make TV Thanks for watching. Bye guys.